Senator Babbitt. Uh, thank you, Acting Deputy President. Obviously, I rise here today in support uh, of Senator Smith's uh, matter of public importance. Of course, I do. There is probably no matter more important to the Australian people right now than the cost of leaving the fact that so many Australians right now are relying on charity, charity, to meet their day-to-day -day needs as an indictment on this Albanese Labor government. I'm old enough to remember, believe it or not, but I am old enough to remember when we used to call ourselves a lucky country. Are we still the lucky country today? Now, these days, under this Prime Minister, under this government, you're lucky if you can find a house, and you're extremely lucky if you can afford to even turn on the heating in your house. But let's be clear, this cost of living crisis, it hasn't appeared out of nowhere. It hasn't snuck up on us like a thief in the night. This cost of living crisis has been brought on by excessive government spending during a time of low employment and rising interest rates. Now, to put it simply, put it simply, the government has increased its spending while the Reserve Bank at the same time has been trying to pump the brakes on inflation. The result is that our once prosperous nation continues to bear the burden of high interest rates and skyrocketing prices as well. Now, the Albanese government. If the Albanese government would simply just decide to live within its means, like every Australian household is expected to do, then this cost of living crisis would more quickly ease. Long-suffering voters are nowhere as stupid as this Albany government potentially assumes them to be, and they will punish this government for financially abusing them just as soon as this Prime Minister is brave enough to call an election. And I look forward to that election. Vote one UAP. Thank you.